Everybody's talking about stocks, stocks, stocks. However, let me tell you a little secret. What most people don't realize is that there's more money in bonds than stocks. But what exactly are bonds? And is this something that you should be investing in? Welcome back guys, Nathan here, and we're gonna be talking about the basics of bonds. Now, even if you never invest in bonds in your entire lifetime, it's still such an important part of money management and investing that it's still worth getting a good understanding of the bond market. So the goal of this video is to show you what bonds are, how bonds work, why people invest in bonds, and then how to invest in bonds. By the end of this video, you'll probably know more than 90% of the population about bonds. Well, that's my goal. If you find anything in this video useful, please click that like button, that'd be much appreciated. Okay, sit back and relax. Here is what you need to know about bonds. Here is what we've got coming up. What are bonds? How bonds work? Why invest in bonds? And then how to invest in bonds. Quick disclaimer. This video is for education purposes only. You should seek investment advice from a registered professional before making any investment decision. This video is not responsible for any investment actions taken by its viewers. Let's take a look at the size of the bond market. So on the left hand side, we are working in the trillions of dollars. And across the bottom, we have the gold market, real estate, stocks and bonds. So gold is about three trillion. Investable real estate, professionally managed, is about 20 trillion. Stocks is about 70 trillion. And look how much money is in the bond market approximately 100 trillion. A normal investing website will explain bonds like this. A bond is a fixed income instrument that represents a loan made by an investor to a borrower. A bond could be thought of as an IOU between the lender and borrower that includes the details of the loan and its payments. But true investing made simple style, I can explain it a lot simpler. Think of a bond like this. A bond is just money lending. It's the business of lending money. Money lending dates back to the earliest civilizations. Going back four and a half thousand years, back then there wasn't actually any money. The currency used at the time was corn and money lending looks like this. So you have your corn, your money, and this is known as the principal, which you lend out. Then after a series of time, the principal would get repaid, followed by some interest. And over the centuries, money lending has evolved. So it started with peer-to-peer. -peer. We're then all aware of loan sharks, so this was the small businesses that would lend out money and if you didn't make your payments then you may have lost a little finger or maybe a kneecap and then on to today and this is banks see banks are just modern day money lenders they lend out money through credit cards loans mortgages and make interest and this brings us on to today with bonds so with bonds, you become the moneylender. A modern example is this. So a big government or a corporation needs to raise some capital. As an investor, you now know you can lend out your money and make passive income. So the terms are drawn up. The maturity date is the amount of time, and with bonds, this typically ranges from a couple of months up to about 30 years. The coupon rate is the interest that you're going to get paid. Bonds are typically sold from $1,000 up to $10,000 packages. The bond is created. You will receive interest payments, $50 at 5%. Then 
at the maturity date, at the end of the term, the money is redeemed and this is bonds. There's typically three broad main categories of bonds. We have government bonds, corporate bonds, and high yield bonds. These are also known as junk bonds. Now you're probably aware that everybody gets assessed by lenders and gets given a credit score. Well, the same is true for people who issue bonds. We have big rating agencies like Moody's and Fitch, and they rate the different bond issuers. The best rating you can get is AAA, followed by AA, then A, then BBB, BB, C, and so on. So the safest place to lend your money to is the government. Government bonds are the safest because they're pretty much never going to go bankrupt. And this is known as a risk-free investment. Going down the ladder, we have corporate bonds. These are the big businesses that you can lend to. You'll get a higher yield, but businesses can still go out of business. Then as you go down, we go into the high yield or junk bonds. These are the smaller businesses. You'll get a much higher yield. However, small businesses have a much bigger risk of going out of business. Bonds historically have yielded under 5%, and it's actually probably more closer to a couple of percent. So why would you invest in bonds when you can just invest in stocks? Well, bonds lower your risk, and it's known as a safe haven asset class. You see, most of the money in the bond market is from the older generation. Now they have probably saved and invested all their life to build up a big nest egg, let's say a million dollars. And as they're coming up to retirement, the last thing that they're gonna want is to put the money in stocks and then maybe potentially lose 50% of the money that's taken them their entire lifetime to save. So it comes down to asset allocation. And the general rule of thumb is as the older you get, the more you want to be moving your money into bonds. Remember, everybody gets rated. So we have the safest government bonds at the top, then corporate bonds and high yield bonds. And in true investing made simple, I would say this. I actually would only invest in government bonds, which means you can remove nearly everything else out of the equation and keep things super, super simple. Now, the reason behind this is because bonds are a safe haven investment. You need a safe place to put your money. And for me, the only safe place is the government because they are the money printers and you will always get your money back. If you want to make a higher yield and a bigger return on investment, then you can always invest in other things like stocks or cryptocurrencies or gold and silver. So for me, I'd keep it simple and just go for government bonds. However, be sure to do your own assessment. You can buy government bonds directly from the US Treasury website all the big brokers out there you can pretty much buy bonds directly from them or you can get great exposure to the bond market through etfs with companies like vanguard a word of caution you are looking at a 25 year chart and this is the 10 year government bonds yield now 25 years ago you were getting seven percent return on your bonds which was great however over the last 25 years, look at the trend of what's going on with bonds. It's been coming down and down and down. And today, the bonds are yielding half a percent. So wait, there's all this money in bonds, a hundred trillion, yet they're only yielding half a percent. For me, something very strange is going on in the bond market. And I think this is why money is now flowing out of bonds and into other asset classes, which explains the reason why gold, silver, crypto and real estate is doing really well right now.
You now know what bonds are, how bonds work, why people invest in bonds, how to invest in bonds. Like I mentioned, you now probably know more than 90% of the population on bonds. So congratulations. If you found anything in this video useful, please click that like button. That would be much appreciated as it really helps out the channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button below as I've got some great videos coming up. Feel free to share this video with a friend if they need a better understanding on bonds. And tell me, what do you think about bonds? Do you think they're a good investment? Do you think it's just for the older generation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below this video. Okay, cheers guys. See you next time. Bye for now.